The ladies stick to pink or blue, which is 8 or 12. Guys, blue or yellow, which is 12 or 16. Keep it live, we're warming up, we can always go heavier later. Okay, so just so you get an idea of the kettlebell around the world. <clears throat> the end version for my advanced guys and girls would look like that. You accelerate, you come around, you catch, push, catch, push, catch, push. We call that a slingshot. That would be the advanced version for today. The around the world. It's just me passing the kettlebell around the world and after a few reps, I switch direction. Okay, that's where I all want you to get today. Some of you might do the slingshot, the first version, okay, but we progress. First thing I want you to do is, normally I'm teaching you to grab the kettlebell in the corner close to my thumb. That would be this corner. Today you go close to the pinky, so the exact opposite. From here, all I want you to do is get a rhythm with the hand switch. So you swing from side to side, you switch, you switch, you switch, you switch. And once you have a few reps, you go in the back. Front, back, front, back, front. Stop and switch direction. And the more I accelerate, the higher the kettlebell comes and I'm actually getting a circle. That's where you want to end up. Grip, corner of your pinky, start swinging side to side. Once you feel comfortable, start switching your hands in front and back, and then get a circular motion. Practice both directions. Okay, let's get a little bit more dynamic. Again, grab the pinky corner, start swinging, switch the hands a few times, and whenever you're ready, you start going around. And I want you to look on my feet and my hip, I'm shifting my weight from side to side. You see that? The further you stand, the better the base of, your su of support. Find somewhere between hip and shoulder. This is very challenging. Don't do that yet. So I want you to shift your weight from side to side and try to let the kettlebell rise at least to hip level. Yeah? This is below hip level. Once I start putting some movement in there, it starts rising. Now, how to switch direction. Always in front of your body. I catch, decelerate, push. One, two, I catch, decelerate, change direction. Very important, I want to catch early, decelerate, maybe come slightly behind that frontal plane here. But what I don't want to do is this. Okay, don't stop the kettlebell far behind you. It's very weak. Switch from side to side, open palm, my elbow stays low. I catch, decelerate, think about a body hook. I push back, catch, decelerate, elbow stays in. A lot of you guys are gonna do that. Keep the elbow low, okay? Catch, decelerate, push back. Give me a few rounds. Whenever you feel ready, you switch direction. Okay? Okay. Everyone is doing well. Now it's about getting some weight experience. You had your movement experience, so feel free to get some heavier kettlebells. But again, I don't want to see you feet outside shoulder with, okay? Shoulder or closer. So if you feel when you swing in a heavier bell that you have to step to control, go lighter. So, <clears throat> one thing we're going to add before we started standing. Now I want you to step back as our usual swing setup. This time, I grab in the pinky corner. I swing to the heel on the same side, so I want to have a little bit of an angle. I swing up, I come out forward, here. And then I go around. One more time. I'm not swinging straight out, I'm swinging, in this case, to my left side, the opposite side, and that helps me to straight away get into that circular motion. Now, 10 or Five and a half five means my advanced guys and girls, I want you to do 10 slingshots, which would be a change of direction with every rep. I go one, push, two, nine, 10, and I'm done. 
If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you're going to do five and five, which means five around the world. One, two, five, switch direction. One, two, five, and you're done. That's how you're going to do later in the workout. We spend another two, three minutes here. Now play with the weight and find out if you feel comfortable doing the slingshot, switching every direction, or if you want to stick to the around the world five and five. Cool? Very specific now. Go and play.